Hey guys, it's your girl Kayla here. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'm super duper excited for this one because we are finally decorating for my favorite season, fall. I'm so excited. So I'm starting off, I put on some music. I'll leave my fall playlist that I listen to on YouTube down below in the description box. And from that title, you guys can see that I am completely redecorating my home for fall. So I am taking away all the decorations, everything that was once here, my everyday stuff is now going bye-bye. And I just wanted to start off with a fresh slate. So that's why I am doing this. And I also wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Thrive Market. We'll talk a little bit more about them once we get to the kitchen, but we're gonna be decorating the living room today, the dining room, and of course the kitchen, making everything look fun and fresh for fall. This Mrs. Meyer scent is so, so amazing, you guys. This was actually my first time using it, but I know it's been all the rave. Um, so I am so impressed. It's just fall in a bottle. If you haven't ever tried it, you definitely need to. And I will try to link it all below. So I'm cleaning off all of my surfaces just to make sure everything's good. And then we'll begin decorating. You're all alone. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking alrighty friends so now that everything has all been wiped down and it's all clean i am bringing all my decorations for the living room right here because i'm the type of person who needs to see what i have and see it all together just to make sure that everything is going to be as cohesive as it is in my head. So once I do all of that, we'll start placing everything where it goes. But right here, you guys can see like my color story that I'm going for for fall this year. Be sure to let me know down in the comments, you know, what colors you did for fall this year. And if you haven't decorated yet, what colors you are going to do. I decided to start off by decorating the couch in here because decorating a couch is always like my most favorite thing to do and I had the cutest pillows. These pillow covers I actually got off Amazon so I will link them down below. So right now I'm going ahead and taking off like all my old pillow covers and putting the new ones on for fall. I was so impressed with these pillow covers y'all. They are bomb. I got one in like a leather, a faux leather vibe and then also like a burnt orange rusty velvet pillow. Okay, so now it's time for me to go ahead and begin like playing around with the pillows, seeing where I want them to go, moving things back and forth, making sure everything's good. So you'll see me kind of like go through that process for a little bit here, and then I'm replicating the same design on the other couch. I don't know, I just kind of like the symmetry of it all. Ooh, and this pillow is one of my favorites as well. It's kind of like this Sherpa wooly material and has a cute little zipper with a leather tassel. I got that pillow from Target. The pink one is also from Target and the plaid pillow is from Target as well. If you didn't catch my fall shop with me video, please do me a favor and check that out because a lot of the goodies that I'm showing you guys today, I bought within that video. And this is another one of my favorite pillows. It's Hello Pumpkin, it's knitted and embroidered. It's just such a high quality pillow, so I really like that one too. But then I was like, do I have too many pillows on the couch? Hmm, do I? But then I was like, nope, no such thing as too many pillows. <laughs> So 
So who else chops their pillows? I asked on my Instagram like a really long time ago, but it'll be fun to chat with you guys down in the comments about whether you chop or you don't chop. So now that the couches are all done, I'm going ahead and like beginning to style my coffee table because I wanted this to be like a cute focal point. I was choosing between those two different trays because I knew that I wanted like this really pretty glass vase to go on top here in this space. So I decided to go with the one that I had there previously and I'm beginning to make my first floral arrangement. You guys, I had so much fun making floral arrangements in this video. It's not something that I do often, but I could definitely get into this in the future. And all of my florals that I'm using throughout this video are either from Kroger or they are from Hobby Lobby. This design was a complete freestyle, but it ended up turning out really, really good. So I was very impressed with this floor arrangement. I think it's so beautiful. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. Okay, so now that the floor arrangement was all done, I started to play with the idea of like just having it there on the table without the tray underneath it. I did like that vibe a little bit more. But then after this clip, I had sat on the couch for a little bit and I was like, there is no possible way anybody who sits on that couch um, could see the TV. So I ended up moving it to my little side table and I think that was just like a way better choice. So I put a really cute furry pumpkin here instead and I feel like I'm still able to get like that cute vocal point that I was going for. It's a little bit more minimalist on the table and then right behind it it's like a big pop of color. So I think that worked out really well. Okay, so at this point, couches are done, coffee table is done. Let's go ahead and tackle the fireplace mantle. So I bought this sign from Kirkland's um, in my last video, and I don't know why I thought it was way bigger. When I put it here, I was like, whoa, this thing looks so tiny. So I knew that I would have to get creative to just make the sign look purposeful because if I left it up there like that, like I was planning to, it just would look odd and out of place. So I needed like some pieces on either side of it just to make the mantle look a little bit more full. I tried my hand at both of my garlands that I had, but they looked hideous there. So I was like, no, this is not gonna work. And I ended up going outside actually and picking some leaves, some branches off of the trees. And these, these leaves were a beautiful color. So I was like, you know what? Nature is here for the rescue. Of course, I wiped them off before I brought them inside and all that good stuff. And the color of these leaves were absolutely stunning. And they were free, y'all. So I'm using my leaves to frame the mantle a little bit more, add a little more interest as well so it didn't look so flat against the wall and I think it ended up turning out really really great that you give me one chance to make you mine when I close close my eyes you know that you're the only thing I see and it makes makes me cry to think that you 
And shout out to my mom because growing up she used to take like the elements of nature and use them as decorations within our home so I definitely stole this from a page out of her book and I'm so happy I did because this area really would have looked bare without these leaves so everything worked out perfectly but you guys be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments or if you've ever done anything similar If I said I'm sorry, what if I said I'm sorry? Whoa, 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 whoa. What if I said I'm sorry? What if I said I'm sorry? So you guys can see that I'm playing around with the pumpkins, trying to figure out if I wanted to like fill in the gaps that were up there between the sign and the leaves and all that good stuff. But the more I added the pumpkins, the more I felt like less is actually more. So I took those away and just left my cute leather pumpkin up there and added some fairy lights. So as you guys can see, every inch of this room is getting decorated with a fall element. And next up, I wanted to work on my entertainment center because this is another one of those areas that can be like a focal point and you spend a lot of time looking at without even realizing. So I'm using my leaves again just to add a lot more interest up here in this space. And I also added a sign that says, be thankful, that I absolutely love. The coloring of it and like the tone of wood underneath is so rich and beautiful so all of these elements just really helped ground this space and make it look a lot more fun and a lot more fall So to finish off one of the last parts of this room, I wanted to move my blanket basket over by the mirror and I'm adding in this really cute blanket that I got from Target. It has like a really pretty mustard color and then a lot of the rust that I'm doing. I also included a pillow that says pumpkin patch in a really pretty gray color and then I am putting on a garland as well, just kind of like, just to make it cuter, honestly. <laughs> Now I'm beginning to set up a little area for my little pup that I told you guys about. Um, she will be here very, very soon and I did not want to leave her out. She deserves some cute, fun fall things too. So I have been playing around with where I wanted her bed to go and 
I knew that I wanted it to be somewhere within the living room and I settled on this space for now at least. So I'm adding her cute little toys that I got from TJ Maxx I believe or Marshalls that are all Halloween inspired and then I'm also gonna put like her little basket over here that just has like a whole bunch of random goodies that I've been collecting. I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Thrive Market. You guys already know that I have made it my goal to take way better care of my body. So that means just being way more intentional about what I'm eating. And so with Thrive Market, I have access to so many products like organic and non-dairy products that really help promote my healthier lifestyle. I like Thrive because they work hard to keep the cost of goods low. And if you find a better price, they will price match it for you. And did I mention that my box, my order is shipped straight to my doorstep and that is just already 1000 times more convenient, especially since a lot of the healthier food that I'm getting, it's not always available where I might normally shop. So with Thrive, I have an easier way to get that healthy food that I'm looking for, have access to it, and it's just way easier. I wanna show you guys what I ordered and you already know I got some fall goodies. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, one thing that I got is this gluten-free pumpkin bread and muffin mix. I am so excited to make this. It's made with almond flour and it's non-GMO, which is really cool. I also got this pumpkin muffin and bread mix as well. So I got two different kinds because I'm pumpkin obsessed, clearly. Next up, y'all, I got some chili because the winter is coming soon. It's starting to get chilly outside and I just feel like that's the perfect time to like have soups and chilies and stuff like that. I also got some organic maple syrup, y'all. I cannot wait to try this. Not only do I wanna eat healthy, but I want my little pup to eat healthy too. And so even though I don't have my puppy yet, I went ahead, I saw these that they offer like dog food on the Thrive Market website. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely getting something for my pup. And so these are called Little Mutt Malas. I got them in the flavor Maple Bacon Kissies, which is such a cute name, and they're wheat, corn and soy free. They're natural treats for your little furry friends. I also got these chips and y'all, when I tell you, they are so good. I got two bags of these already, one bag. They're bomb, okay? Bomb, you must try these. These are a must try. And if you did not know, Thrive also sells like home essential products as well. So I have a couple more things that I wanna show you that are non-food related. The first thing is this coconut vanilla body lotion, which should be really, really nice. It has shea butter. I also got this laundry detergent that smells so amazing. I can smell it through the bag. It's like a lavender scent. This is something that I have really been wanting to try for a while. It is a fruit and veggie wash. I also got some activated charcoal toothpaste, organic apple cider vinegar, and some reusable silicone wrap for all my food. So guys, those were all my fun goodies from Thrive Market. I'm really excited to use most of these things, especially the pumpkin and muffin bread. I just know that's gonna be so good. Join today and get 25% off your first order and a free gift at thrivemarket.com slash youngladybusiness. Yay, the living room is officially done and now we are moving on to the dining room. I'm drinking an apple cider right now. It was so yummy. Thank you, mommy, for it. And uh, you guys, let me know down in the comment what your favorite like fall drink is. I love a good apple cider. They're so yummy. Oh, and don't get me started on apple cider donuts. Oh, delicious. So I'm cleaning off my table and also wiping down pretty much all the surfaces in this space. And I'm adding these leather charges that I got from Hobby Lobby. Just trying to make the table stand out a little bit more. I knew that I didn't want to do too, too much. I ended up creating a simple design here. You and me were meant to be as one. The universe has known it all along. Maybe this is where our story starts. Maybe you was written Take me 
And now we're also going to give the hutch some special attention. Do you guys remember when the hutch used to be brown? I know, I was thinking about it as I was decorating this space and I was like, you know, the brown color actually will look really cute with all of my um, fall decorations. But it's white now and I definitely was not going to repaint this thing. It is a piece of work to paint. So now that I took all the decorations that I had up there off of the hutch, I'm wiping it down and we are gonna put some new decorations up here. The sign that I'm using is from Kirkland's and I believe it was around $17 which I thought was a really great deal and I always like to put like some sort of plant or flower up there in those two little alcoves so I, ha I got those vases from Hobby Lobby I believe and I wanted to add just some more florals in there to make it look a little bit more full so that's what we're tackling now. This is our second floral arrangement. It's a sour taste in it. It's a sour taste to be fooled again, honey. To be fooled again. Stole my heart and ripped it into pieces. Yes, you did. Okay, so who else loves candy corn? For me, it is definitely a fall staple. I always have it somewhere in my house around this time of year. My only thing is though, especially with my color scheme this year, like it just really did not go. So I was thinking like, can we create an elevated candy corn with, you know, rich, richer colors, not as bright. So like a mustard yellow and then like a really deep orange and instead of like that bright white, a nice creamy white. Like wouldn't that be a vibe you guys? And if there are some candy corn out there like that already, I'm sure there are. Um, I need to get those next year because I really wanted the candy corn, you know, jar to go over here, but it just was not fitting my vibe. So instead, I put this basket and I filled it up with weed and these little pumpkin picks that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's a cold embrace, ain't it? It's a big mistake to be falling back to the stuff we know will fail. Stop my thoughts for no given reason. None at all No, it's not the way I plan No, it's not the way I want it No, it's not the things I meant Know that I'm not being honest Not the way I want it I still make sense I, I, I just want to be the one who loves you I just want Alrighty, as you can see, we've moved into the kitchen and I am doing it, you guys. I'm doing it. This door is about to get a complete transformation. If you follow me on Instagram, and if you watched my last video, then you know that I have been playing with the idea of switching it up in here, making my door look a little bit more like fall, or at least like the fall color palette that I'm going for, because like all the greenery that I had, up I kind of took all of that down and so like green is just not a color that I have anywhere within my home as a part of my fall decorations so I wanted the door to kind of blend in a little bit more well I guess I shouldn't say blend in more like stick out I wanted my door just to be a big pop 
for fall. So I'm painting it in the color called Maple Glaze. It's beautiful. I had so many swatches that I was choosing between and this one ended up being the winner just because of the way it looked in low light and also in bright light. It's such a rich, beautiful color. And I know it's going on right now looking like the brightest pumpkin orange you ever did see, but just wait, wait for it. It, it's going to look amazing and I ended up doing two coats on this door and for those of you who are super duper sad to see the sage door go don't worry it'll probably be back again someday I mean I'm not gonna keep the rusty orange color up here forever this door might go through a lot of changes so we'll go through all of those together most likely and this color will most definitely be back soon I wanna pick a fight with everything seems so good. I guess I can help myself. Would you hold me if I'm in the dark? I'm calling up cause I'm right under the stars. Would you Overall, you guys, I'm really happy that I decided to paint the door for fall this really beautiful color. I mean, why not? Life is just way too short to not, you know, go after the things you want and, you know, follow those dreams, goals, or visions that you might have. And it's looking so cute. At this point, it was like almost dry, but you guys will see like the final color in the final reveal. These are most of the things that I had to decorate the kitchen and now that the door was drying and all of that, I went ahead and began to clear off all the surface in here, move the decorations that I had up out of the way, and then we're going to wipe everything down too. Give me love, give me all your love, oh cause I want you. So now that all my surfaces were cleaned off, I began playing around with the idea of using a tiered tray over here on this side of the sink and then I had these two different ones to choose between and I ended up going with, well at least for the moment, with that one right there which is actually more so like a platter for like serving but you know your girl be trying to make it work. But the more and more I added stuff on here, the more I did not like it. So you'll see this disappear in just a second. And I was just getting a little confused about my vision over there. So I went ahead and began working on like the floating shelves that contain like most of my dry pantry goods. Because I always find that this, e this area is like another big focal point. So I was like, let me work over here instead. As long as I with 
So as you guys can see, I'm making some floral arrangements to go up here because I felt like it needed just a little bit more umph to it, especially since there really wasn't like any rich greenery around. So I used the same vases from the Hutch, but these are just like the smaller version from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm also using some clear, like that clear vase right there. I got that from the Target dollar spot and I thought I wanted to put the pompous grass in it, but it was just way too long. There was no way that it would fit in between the shelves. So I used this like wheat instead and it ended up turning out really, really cute. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, especially if you're enjoying this video because I have so many more just like it and a lot more on the way very, very soon. Basically on my channel, I do a lot of DIY content, decorating, shopping, cleaning, just all the home rental stuff, everything home related you can find here, but also sprinkled in between, I have a few day in my life videos and I recently got engaged. So I'm starting up a wedding series that's gonna be really fun. Also, I'm a second grade teacher, so I'm gonna be giving you guys a couple more teacher vlogs very, very soon. So yeah, that's pretty much everything all about me and what you can expect to see on my channel. So if those things interest you, go ahead and join the fam and for everybody who is already subscribed thank you guys so much for coming back every week and thank you for being so so supportive Alrighty friends, so we are almost to the end of the decorating portion of this video. I'm ending it off by adding a really fun wreath um, up on my little vent hood. I actually got this wreath from Goodwill a couple years back. It was like three bucks, but I think it's the cutest thing and it's just adding another touch of fall. But you guys will see the rest of this room fully decorated. I added a couple more things. It was getting late. I turned off the lights. I kind of like decorating a low light. But anyway, enough talking. The final reveal is coming very, very soon. Get ready. Here we go.
Alrighty friends, that brings us to the end of today's video where we completely redecorated the main living spaces of my home for fall. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a like and comment down below if you do. And don't forget to check out Thrive Market at thrivemarket.com slash youngladybusiness. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye friends. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh, uh, uh. Lucky, lucky.